So my question is, should we believe in that, that like the qualities of vegetarianism, non-alcoholism, celibacy, practice them so that we make our body fit, so that, that the kriya of eleven minutes will be more effective? See, uh, this is what I've been saying right through, why even eating is a moral value? Food is about the body, we must eat what is suitable for this body. But right now you're talking about making food into a habit. I want to tell you there is no such thing as good habit and bad habit. Habit means you are functioning unconsciously. If you are functioning unconsciously, that's a bad thing because the whole thing about being human is we are capable of doing things consciously. That is the beauty of being human, that we can do everything consciously. What an animal does unconsciously, we can do the same thing consciously. We can eat unconsciously or we can eat consciously. We can breathe unconsciously or we can breathe consciously. Everything that we can do, we can do it consciously. The moment we do something consciously, suddenly that human being looks very refined and wonderful. Just because somebody walks and speaks consciously, doesn't he become a beautiful human being? Yes or no? That's all. So why is it that we are trying to develop habits as if there's a good thing? Habit means fixed realities where you don't have to think. You get up in the morning and it'll happen to you. No, don't try to automize your life. That is not efficiency, that is the efficiency of the machine. This one is supposed to function intelligently and consciously. Nobody is expecting it to function like a machine. So, about food and stuff, food must be suitable for the body that we eat for. It is for the body, this is a building material for this body, the food that you're eating. What is the appropriate food? Unfortunately, it's all messed up right now. Traditionally, we ate very sensibly in this country, but these thousand years of innovations have brought other kinds of food cultures and today the national diet is pizza or pasta. What is it? Which is one? I don't know. Both were competing. So, we are losing our sense about food, it's definitely time to look at what is the most suitable thing. If I go into that food, it's a very long process, but uh, you must experiment with food, not just by the tongue, but by the body. You eat something today and see, just learn to observe how agile and how active your body feels after eating this food. If it feels like it wants to go to the grave, that's not good food. If it feels like it wants to be alive after eating this, except coffee, because that's a stimulant. If you eat food and your body feels very agile and alive, that means it's good food, body is liking it. If you eat something, it feels dull, that means it's not liking it, it's having difficulty with it, that's why it feels dull. So just on this basis, there's a much… I mean, this is a very simplistic way of putting it.